place is still not a nice area. The stench of death is all around. Buzzing flies. Ruins. Yeah. Ooh, a lot, ooh, lot more. More good. More Long goodies to be had. Stuff. Yeah. Uh, uh, long live the Empress. Long live the Empress. Okay, so is that about the old Empress or the Probably new the old one. Okay. Sometimes you'll see like "Long live the Empress" and then below it, near my near near, near, some, near it, someone else will have tagged "She was a wench." She was like a filthy wench or something like that. <laughs> okay, now. We're not out of the woods yet, by any means. And this is one of those places, like, the number of weepers depends in large part on, uh... You know, your chaos. And I've, right. I've not been the nicest of fellows in this playthrough, so we're gonna run into a little trouble. I fear. No, there, see, yeah, long live the Empress. She was a win. She was a win. I don't know what the actual term wench means. Like a, just like a woman, like usually kind of a derogatory term for a woman. I think it usually implies she's like sort of like low born or of low station. You know, it's it's like like the women who attend Triple H when he's on his skull throne. Like those 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 are right, those are wenches. Yes. Okay, great. I I get you now. You put it in terms of wrestling, the, so I the universal understand. language. <laughs> Uh, hey, nice to know they have bathtubs in the Dishonored universe. Nice. No. Yeah, they. So they have bathtubs, but they don't have. For, well, I, you know what? Never mind. I guess like the modern toilet is sort of a recent years invention. Well, they they, they have you know? they have toilets of a sort, and I know they. Yeah, but they're like indoor wood box yeah, goodies. That's true. No. Uh oh. I suppose that a. Uh, a bath was like a like you couldn't create a wooden bathtub, Get all so they and... have to have a porcelain. Well, rotten. The wood would like be fucked up. I saw, I saw the silhouette of some, probably some weepers. It wasn't dark. It was dark mm. uh, I would just. Just be horrible at architecture, because when you were in that room just now, I would be like, I get, that looks kind of <laughs> modern. Like that boiler area. Don't know why this was boarded up. I'm sure there's no dangers outside, or oh no! <laughs> <laughs> nice. So yeah, it, it, so it does make a bounce when you drop the and little bomb, the, the right? The astute viewer may have noticed that there was another one rising up that I missed and is now... There we go. Getting plague juice. On. Oh no! Do not engage Oof. Weepers hand to hand. Always, yeah. always, always shoot. If you're going to kill Weepers, take them down from a distance. They are very dangerous close-in combatants. Uh, is there... You can get that thing that, like... Oh no, it just doesn't, it doesn't restore your health, it restores yeah, your mana. Yeah, Weeper, yeah, it's views on you. So that's kind of dumb anyways. It's very sort of, just in general, I, 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 I don't like powers that require me to be hit. Especially if what I'm being hit is like, plague phlegm. Yeah. I can't imagine the justification in, you know, rationality to Corvo. I have to let them hit me. You know, actually, one interesting theory it's about why thing? you uh, you don't you don't you, you never get the plague when you get despite you know your contact with weavers and such is mm. one of the books you find indicates that there some lo long time ago there appears to have been some outbreak of something very much like the rat plague in Circonos. Long time ago, okay. Right. Is and Corvo, Corvo is Circonin. And it's been speculated that it might be kind of like the uh, plague in uh, 
Dunwall, it might be kind of like a smallpox among Native Americans kind of situation. Where right. the Sirconans have been exposed to it in the past, so they've evolved an immunity to it. Whereas people in Gristle haven't, so it go it just tears through them like a scythe. This is this is pure fan speculation, of course, but it is kind of interesting to think about. And considering the amount of detail they put into a lot of the world building, it wouldn't shock me if the, the developers actually did have that in mind. You're the hmm. mask guy who's been taking down all the lords and ladies. Of course. No way through this gate unless you've got the sewer. Key. Of course, from a gameplay Only perspective, it would also be kind of problematic if you became a weeper midway not through. Not for all the gold and Dunwall power. <laughs> not again. Maybe you uh, yeah. I'm trying to think of other games with oh, large-scale plagues. It used the rats. Okay. I know it sounds crazy. And then it run back under the streets. Remember? Mm. So we come down here to kill it. Slackjaw hey, leading the way. You're, you're... Went bad. I barely crawled out. Our buddy. Don't know what happened to Slackjaw. He had the sewer key, though. Yeah, as I said, we, we will run into him again. So it sounds like something cool. weird. It was a fog. And then rats. Rats everywhere. Slackjaw chased them. Deeper Something strange sewer. attacked the distillery. Like a nightmare. Something came up and started attacking. Slap so is he yeah. dying? If we can kill it. He's got rings. Those are rings. Yeah. He's like. He's like. He's like like the Joe Pesci of Dunwall. Got all the all the jewelry. <laughs> so you're just gonna let him die? And there's not much to be done for him. Yeah, you can mercy kill him, I guess. Dump some of Sokolov's elixir on the hole in his stomach. Yeah. That should that, yeah. fix you. <laughs> Good for what ails you. I got my... Okay, yeah, I think he just shot himself. Picture that, yeah. Uh-oh, mm. river, river crusts. There's quite a few crusts in this segment of the game, and you want to be careful going around corners and down hallways because you might end up having one... You might find yourself in their line of sight. Right. So are those like the uh one? The weird thing. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh I got hit! Nice. You don't want to get hit. That that does that stuff does some serious damage. I'm sorry, you were saying? Are those like the uh the uh, I can't remember what they're called from Half Life. The weird tongue things. They kinda dangle on the ceiling and shoot a tongue down. They don't have you? a they don't have like a close in attack, no. Well, that's that's too bad. Although I don't know, like I said, this game's like like visual designer did did Half Life too, so maybe there was some like maybe the look was inspired a little. I couldn't yeah. Say. Like I said, with the tall boys. Right. You hear that? Yeah, okay, now well, no, you can't. But there's like a squeaky, squealy sound in the background. But... The cry of the river crust in its native habitat. Sounds like a good documentary. The struggle is soon over. Luckily, I have all. <laughs> Luckily, oh, incoming! Luckily, I have all my weapons this time. Last time I was dealing with River Cross, I had to just whatever it was just whatever I could scavenge from those overseers because I hadn't gotten my own gear back yet. Right. I read. Through, I believe you actually can possess a River Cross, but you just sit there. It doesn't really. <laughs> well, they're, they're sessile creatures. Right. I didn't quite think that to make that. Take a peek out. I am not aiming those grenades properly, it would seem. Mm. Well, that can be hard.
Now you can see that little green, that little green spot on the corpse. That's the river crust pearl that I can grab. Oh right. Not every river crust has a pearl, but a lot of them do, and they're they're worth a fair bit. If you can get them without being having your face melted off. Right. By green sludge. I wonder how much like a single coin is worth in this universe. Yeah, like what what the exchange rate is? Yeah, like what can you buy? Yeah, it's a good question. It's hard to say because none of the stuff you buy in the game is like normal everyday stuff a regular citizen would be buying. Right. And there's no signs, it's like, you know, bodies. ten coins for a meal. A lot of bodies. Yeah. Well, these are actually in body oh. bags, which is which is more of the consideration than a lot of most of the dead get in this place. Uh, yeah, slight improvement. Yeah, I mean, I, well, it's not. I'm not saying being wrapped in wrapped in a hefty bag and tossed in the sewer is great, but I'll tell you what. Whoever is playing this uh, version of Plague Inc. is doing Let's such see. a bad job. Okay, this is just a. Uh, this is the this is the clue to the. Uh, the safe, you got you got to you you, you got to figure out the, the the numbers that correspond to which months. Oh, so wow, that's a lot more than twelve months, is it? No, is that twelve it's months? Thir exactly. There's uh, there are thirteen, yeah, each each twenty eight days, and then there's like however long the fugue feast is. Oh, is that the like the New Year? Yeah, that's the thing where it's like like all like the all the rules of conduct are temporarily suspended and everyone just goes nuts. Oh, right. Like, the extreme Mardi Gras. Yeah. Oh, we got 100 coins for that. Like, remember, nice. I, I speculated that, that maybe that's when... I speculated that that's when Emily was conceived, and that's why no one <laughs> asks the... Em why there isn't the question of, you know, who's the who's the Empress's, you know, lover. Because if it happened during Fugue Feast, it stays in Fugue Feast. Right. It's like the Purge. <laughs> That looks so bad. It is bad. It's dumb. The second plus the Hunger Games. Uh. It's one of those. This is one of those damp, moist areas where river crusts often thrive. It's a place where uh, pretty much anything you don't, you know. Like, I've never heard of anything cultivating in a damp, moist area that, like, that's something I'd, you know, want to hug. <laughs> oh! The incendiary! Oof. Purge! Bring the fire! Purge the unclean! <laughs> that is a lot of green crap. Yeah. There we go. So these are so these are pipes. So somebody's been down here. So these probably uh, weren't always there. I assume, anyways. It's mentioned that the uh, in one of the books that the the Dunwall sewers have been like gradually added to and expanded and re-added to for centuries. And like during the Mor the uh, Morley Rebellion, which we've mentioned before, which gets mentioned occasionally. That like right. it was actually a problem where like enemy agents would be like getting into the city through the sewers and then popping out and assassinating people. And I believe that's the era when the Lord position of Lord Protector was created. Hmm. That or, or or maybe it was the or or possibly Royal Spymaster or maybe. Both. Wow, actual sky! It's been a while. Oh, yeah. Is that paper floating on the top? Yeah, that's paper documents. He's trying to destroy some documents. That's the uh, old timey. They don't have. Uh, they don't have whale powered shredders yet, I guess. No. The old timey uh, hard drive dump. <laughs> you don't want anybody to catch you with that. <laughs> the smut. I would not. Well, I wouldn't want to go down here looking for anything. <laughs> I'll tell you that for. I'll buy that for a dollar. Or. Not. I. <laughs> but oh. 
approaching that sewer key. Spring razor. Okay, was that the copper wire or the spring razor wire? Sp spring razor. Okay. Oh, get ready. Look, look who's there. No. It's, it's great. Hey! The Someone kill this crazy witch. I can make you and there's a familiar voice that <laughs> our that lovable ne'er do all ne'er do well slack jaw. You gotta love them. My knife's gotta be nice and sharp. Oh, that doesn't look good. Skeleton slack jaw. No. Nice and sharp. 